verse 22 of the chapter of Al-Hijr of the Quran gives us the following news 1400 years ago when the importance and meaning of fecundating was not known. And we, and we send, send the fecundating, the fecundating winds. winds. Yes, this verse clearly states that winds have a fecundating property. What do scientists say about this news given by the Quran? Let us find out. Scientists state that winds have a fecundating property as follows. There are male and female elements in the flowers of all plants. Fruits occur when the male element fecundates the female. This fecundation takes place thanks to wind. Allah created the seeds of many plants so light as to fly in the presence of even a very light breeze. Pollens, dusts and seeds of innumerable plant species are carried from one plant to another through winds. Thus, the plants reproduce through fecundation and their generations are ensured to continue. That is, plants reproduce thanks to the fecundating property of winds. Apart from fecundating plants, winds also fecundate rain clouds to make rain fall down. Until recent times, it was thought that the only relationship between wind and rain was that winds dragged rain clouds. Yes, it was something that could be seen by anyone who watched the movement of the clouds. However, the relationship between wind and rain was not only this. Air bubbles called aerosols form on the surface of seas and other waters due to foaming. They mix with the dust that winds drag from the land and fly toward the upper layers of the atmosphere. These particles, raised by winds, combine with water vapor and the water vapor condenses around these particles. If it were not for these particles, 100% water vapor could not form clouds. Clouds form when winds fecundate the free water vapor in the air with the particles they carry. After these explanations of science and scientists, let us analyze the issue and find answers to the following questions. 1. When was it discovered that winds had a fecundating property? Answer. It was discovered in the 20th century. 2. Is it possible for a person who could not read nor write to discover this fact 1400 years ago? that which was only discovered in the 20th century? Answer. It is impossible. Only an insane person can claim that it is possible. 3. How can it be explained that the fact that winds have the property of fecundating is mentioned in the Quran if it is not accepted that the Quran is the word of Allah? Answer. It cannot be explained in any way. If the Quran is not accepted to be the word of Allah, neither this information given by the Quran nor any of the other scientific facts can be explained. There are two ways. To accept that a human being who could not read or write knew and discovered 14 centuries ago on his own that winds have the property of fecundating and all of the other scientific facts stated by the Quran or to say, the Quran is the book of Allah. All of the news within it is the word of Allah. There is no other possibility. No sane person can accept the first probability, for it is impossible for a human being to know and discover them on his own. Then there is nothing else to do but to accept the second possibility. This book is the book of Allah, who is Alam al Guyub, the knower of all unseen and unknown things. Yes, 
This book belongs to the same person who created winds and gave them the duty of fecundating. Everything within this book belongs to him. We believe in and accept it.